Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you um, how to do some simple formulas in OpenOffice Calc. Um, so jumping right in, um, I just want to familiarize you with this formula bar. And the formula bar, it's if there's anything that on this page that makes this look more intimidating than anything else, it's these two buttons right here and this formula bar. So I'm going to break it down for you. It's actually not so so bad. This formula bar, what this is, is it just shows you any data or mathematical data that are in any of these cells. So if I select any of these cells, say this $1.99 here, you'll see that the $1.99 appears in the formula bar. Okay, if I, now this doesn't have any formulas in there, but if I was to say it was, you know, something plus something else, it, it will show that. So the the formula bar can be used for entering. I can type, you know, plus two in there, um, but I'm not going to. Um, I can type anything. I can edit anything in this formula bar to edit this cell. And I can also just re use it to review. For the most part, I only use it to review because I, unless you're doing some really complex, long math equations, you really don't need to, all this space. So I usually just type whatever I'm going to do into the cell itself. Okay? The other two things I want to go over these two buttons here and these are some crazy looking buttons um, so the first one this E okay it looks like you know something an alien would have come up with it's actually just the I think Roman uh, I think Yoda I'm not sure um, but it's just the sum button okay and it, it's just the symbol for sum which is just two numbers added together so it, it's just saying sum okay so that's all you I, I don't know you know if most people learn this in school when I was in the second grade I don't remember my teacher ever saying okay we're learning addition so the sum of something is this e symbol nobody ever showed me that um, but that's what it means it's, it's sum. it's just a it's a fancy symbol for addition the addition of two numbers um, to the left of that is the function uh, button, and I'm not going to get into this too far. Um, all you need to know about that, about the function bar, is if you've ever taken any kind of uh, algebra in school, obviously a function is um, a function of x, f of x, um, a, as x is a variable. So you know, if x changes, then obviously the 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 formula. Uh, the, the outcome of the formula changes. I'm not going to go into this because um, it's a little more complicated and I'll do a video later on that. For now, I'm just going to show you how to do some simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you how to do is how to add two columns. Okay, so if I want to add, say I want to add this pencil, the, the number of units for this pencil order to the number of units in this binder order right here okay this 95 I want to add this 95 to this 50 so what I'm gonna do is very is very simple all you need to know to do really any math in in a cell is the, is where your equal sign is on your keyboard so I want this to this cell is going to equal this cell with the 95 plus this cell with the 50 Okay, so I'm going to type equals. Okay, so this cell equals cell B2, which is the 95, to plus cell C2. Uh, I'm sorry, cell B2 plus cell B3. Okay, cell B2 plus cell B3. Um, this 95 plus this 50. Now you might be going, why don't you just put 95 plus 50? Well, I could do that, um, but that's kind of defeating the purpose. You want this to automatically add on on your own. So anytime you're doing math in in calc, what you'll need to do is use the name of the cell. So the name of the cell with the 95 dollar 95 units in it is cell B. It's in it's in column B. And it's in row two, so cell B2, just like Battleship, or cell B3. 
three. Okay, so I want cell B2 plus cell B3. So this cell is going to equal cell B2 plus cell B B3. So B2 plus cell B3. And when I press enter, you'll see that it has added that 95 to that 50 to equal 145. Okay, very, very easy. Very easy stuff. And, and that's that's the base of it. If I want to do any other, say I want, I'm going to subtract. Now I'm going to subtract cell B3 from cell B2. I'm going to subtract this 50 from this 95. So now I'm going to say it equals, it equals cell B2 minus cell B3. And again, it will do that, that mathematical function. It subtracted the 50 from the 95 to equal 45. Okay, very simple. All right, let's do some multiplication. So I left the total column uh, blank. So say, well, we want to know what the total cost of any of these orders uh, for supplies are. So we'll go to the first cell here in the totals column. And, and I want to know how much money these 95 pencils costed. Okay, and they costed one ninety nine a piece. So I want to know what the total cost was. So what I need to know is what cell B two times cell C two is. I need to know the the the. I I want to know what uh, what those what the full cost is. So I'm gonna hit equals cell B two. And I'm going to say times cell C2. And if you haven't done any uh, formulas um, with your keyboard on your computer, you you might not know this, that there's no X for uh, times for multiplication. What we actually use is the asterisk. And the asterisk is um, on your number pad right above the 9. Okay? And it looks like this. It's like the star. So I wanted cell B2 times cell C2. So that's what it said. So equals cell B2 times cell C2. I hit enter. And you can see here that um, 95 units at $1.99 comes to one eighty nine oh five. All right. Um, and then say uh, I want to s s do some division. Okay. We'll pretend we didn't have unit cost. So I'm just going to type unit cost again. Okay, so pretend we don't have this. Um, we'll pretend we don't have this column. And we're trying to figure out what the cost is. Okay? So I will say, okay, I want to know how much each pencil cost. We spent a total of $189 and 0 zero five cents and we we bought 95 pencils so i want to know what this total number is divided by 95 so i'm going to say equals d2 divided by and once again we don't have the old school i'm sorry d2 um you don't have to have them in caps i just like to um we don't have the divided sign uh, aligned with two dots like like you learn in grade school. Um, if you've done any higher level math, you may have seen people use a, a slash as uh, or just a, a line to, to show division. Once again, that's on your number pad. It's actually right above the eight. It's this backslash right there. Okay, D2 divided by uh, cell B2. Oops, I accidentally pressed something. Ignore that. Okay, so cell D2 divided by B2 equals D2 divided by B2. And D2 is right there, B2 is right there. So when I hit enter, you'll see that it divided the total by the, the number of units to give me the unit cost, which we can verify because we already do have that information, that it's $1.99, okay? I'm going to go ahead and delete this uh, column since we don't need, it, we need this column. Um, I just wanted to show you how to divide. Okay. So now I've showed you how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. I'm going to show you just a couple more things just to make life easier. Um, so uh, once again, we, we, 
we multiplied the units, the number of units by the unit cost in order to get the total cost. Okay, so you don't want to necessarily have to type in that equation uh, B2 times C2 for every single one of these columns, especially if there's hundreds of of you know rows of data. So what we'll do is we can copy this formula that we put in all the way down and it will it will formulate all of this data together all just by double clicking once and I'll show you how. So you see how there's this square at the bottom right corner of of the cell. See that little square? If I hover my mouse over that square, sorry. If I hover my mouse over that square, it turns into a plus sign. You see how it turned into a plus sign? Now, if I double click on that plus sign, it will copy all of the, it will copy that formula down for all of my rows. So I'm gonna double click now that it's a plus sign. And you can see that it has, it has multiplied all of the un unit values by the unit costs to give me the total cost for each one of these orders, these supply orders, you see? So that's a very simple trick. That's that's just and and you can use that for any formula, not just uh, multiplication. It could be any of the addition or subtraction I showed you, um, and you can do that for anything. Um, it'll also copy just if I wanted to just copy down this. Now it, it can be finicky if you're just wanting to copy pencil all the way down. It might not do that. It it may, but it um, it might copy some pens. It might copy this entire uh, column over and over and over and let it repeat. Let's. I'm just going to do it for you know, the sake of doing it. But you see, it, look, it copied the pencil down. I'm going to hit undo because I was just showing you. But it will copy, you know, e any data or formulas that it, it has down just by hovering over that and double clicking. It's, it's a very valuable tool. Okay, and then the, so that was, that was, uh, you know, how to copy formulas down quickly. One other thing I want to show you is is in review of this sum button. Remember, we were talking about this sum button. It just means add, and it's a button. Okay, and it's the sum button. Um, in Excel, it's called auto sum. So you may be looking, and auto sum is usually somewhere over here in Excel. If you're not, if you've used Excel but you've never used Calc, this is one of the biggest, the first things you'll go, what? Where is this sum button at? Um, the sum button's right here. It's right by the formula bar. It's just in a different place. And it doesn't say auto sum. It just says sum, obviously, for copyright purposes. Um, but what this button will do is, say I want to know the total of column B of the units column. I want to know the total number of units sold. Okay, and I want it to display right here. That's where I want the sum of all of these columns to be. So all I got to do is select that cell right here. And then I can just press the sum button and watch what happens. It automatically selects all of the data that it thinks I want, I want to add. And you'll see up here in the formula bar, it has displayed that it is going, it is going to equal the sum of cell B2 to cell B10. So cell B2 to cell B10, okay? And since it has, and you can adjust this. You see, I can move it around, uh, but I'm not going to. I want to know all of that. And all you got to do is press enter. So it's that easy, 521 units. Once again, I'll just do it one more time since I did a lot of talking. You just select the cell you want, you press this button, you see it selects the data, and you hit, you hit enter. Um, very quick, very easy. So that that makes life a lot easy easier when you can you can auto sum things, or I shouldn't say auto sum, you can sum them. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. So you just choose any cell you want, you hit equals, you can type whatever math you want in there. You can use your auto sum or sum button uh, to make things go faster. And you can also copy down formulas by uh, double clicking on the uh, square on the right hand bottom of your cell in order to copy down formulas. Um, uh, I'm going to leave it there for now, just since this is just gonna, this video is just on simple formulas. I hope this uh, was helpful to you. Um, if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe.